That's good. Can you hear me? Okay. Um, I'm so happy to be here, and it's somewhat ironic that I'm talking about adaptive sports because I was never really into sports as a kid at all. And then I got diagnosed at age 28 with multiple sclerosis, and from there I thought I'm just going downhill. Nothing, nothing's going to happen. But I just kind of kept living my life, and then 21 years later I got introduced to a person in an adaptive fitness class and I started to become fit, and I thought, I want to try out this fitness someplace. So I found a place in Colorado that had a program for people with uh, MS that included whitewater rafting, something I'd always wanted to do. And whitewater rafting was great, and it was fun, it was invigorating, but I found that the best thing that I could do at that program was a high ropes course, where I literally had to take a step out of my comfort zone from a 40 foot high platform onto what to me looked like a garden hose, hanging onto strings above me. Well, I did it, as you can see from the slide, in an adaptive way. I didn't walk across it, I didn't slide across it, I pulled myself across it upside down. But I didn't make it all the way through the eight uh, parts of the high ropes course, but I came back the next year and I did finish it. I also had a chance to try rock climbing, and I also wanted to just let you know, look at the bottom picture. If you don't think you can improve your muscles after 40, check out the arm. <laughs> uh, from there, I went on to try skydiving, which was a lot of fun. 13,500 feet up in the air, and you jump out, and you free fall for a minute, and you have that goofy skydiver smile on, and then you pull the, pull the cord, and you float for another five minutes. Always make sure your shoes are double knotted before you do it or you'd be watching your shoes on the way down. Um, I love that, it was fun. Back in Madison, I like to go kayaking. I have my own kayak. I don't paddle well with others. Steve, my husband, knows that. Um, I like you to look at the other pictures. It's so much fun because nobody knows when you're in a kayak, who's the one that belongs to the chair on the shore. I also had a chance to do some shooting with a program called Becoming an Outdoors Woman. This particular um, uh, crossbow was a program for people with disabilities. I, again, proved to my husband that I was a good shot. Um, I went to another program that they had up in Tomahawk that was a three-day weekend for anybody, any of you women, could go up there and do some things that you may not have ever done before, and it's fun and it's, it's just amazing. Around Madison, I bike um, using a three-wheeled uh, hand crank bike. Um, we go on the bike paths. We've also hooked up with a group that uh, has a bike club called the uh, Positive Peddlers. As you can see, I can start out on a bike ride with a group. When you're doing a hand crank, you tend to fall back a little bit but the parties are worth it at the end, so keep going. My true passion now for a number of years is sit skiing, adaptive sit skiing, and uh, I do that. This was the first time out on a ski. There were a bunch of engineering students. This was a prototype. If you want engineering students to become excited, break their prototype, they know what to do to fix it. As you can see, I gave them lots to work with, and we started building them. We eventually, I think I personally was involved in building about 150 of them, and got to go up to the Birkenbeiner. First couple years just doing a, a short demonstration on Main Street, and then getting to actually go the last 3K with, with uh, skiers. It was amazing and wonderful, beautiful weather, or crummy weather. Uh, this, was, this was at about... Um, zero degrees, 10 below wind chill factor, but everybody, even with their beards crusted in ice, was always thumbs up, go sit skier, hang tough. So I do it now year round with my husband, with friends, at the very end of the year when there's hardly any snow, and I get to actually be the person who tests out the new prototypes for uh, sit skis on wheels. Oh, you do fall over. That's why you must have somebody with you to help you pick up. But let me tell you, falling is not the main thing. It's when you get up and keep going, that's the best thing about it. I want to ask you 
When was the last time you did something for the first time, whether you're able-bodied or disabled? I challenge you, find something that you've always wanted to do and just go out and do it. Thank you.